yeah hi in this video i would like to show you on how to maintain the exchange rates to maintain the exchange rates you can directly go to op08 and then it will go to the the table called a t-cut table or you can go to the path which is a, um, usually this is a user transaction then you can go and uh, here accounting financial accounting and general ledger environment current user settings enter translation rates or, or here you can see enter the exchange rates uh, using a work list so you can just click on this or if you want to go to the using a different uh, using a SPR uh, let let it run and I will show my other screen um, here so here you can go to the SAP net waiver it, 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 it will change uh, depends on your uh, version of SAP so I'm using ECC 7 so um, this will be the latest I hope okay so now you go to the general settings currencies now you can see here so this is where you can also go using SPR also or you can go using a, a, a here uh, there's a work list so if you want a work list you can maintain the work list and uh, to maintain directly the exchange rates if, if the companies a very big companies they, they they have a connectors directly to get the exchange rates from the approved banks for those companies and they will automatically update those um, exchange rates so here you can go using um, the transaction here it's locked because I'm in this transaction so I just close now and I will try again so it, it's go cool. so you have a three ways one using a SPR another one using OP08 or another one using a normal uh, front-end user transaction so now I want to maintain the exchange rate so I have a date which is a valid from this is valid only for the particular date so exchange rate type is M my date 0101 2021 and USD and Euro so I press enter the now system is showing a zero so way to maintain yeah so let's say you have uh, two places here so one is uh, this is here and another one is here where do you maintain this exchange rate what you have this is the rate okay so what is exactly this day this rate this rate is actually is USD to euro so so when when you say USD to euro is a direct conversion so the direct conversion always use uh, the column which is here the direct quotation so let's say you want to maintain the indirect quotation then you just need to go a mathematical calculation maybe this is called a direct rate so so let's say you want to achieve the indirect rate indirect rate so you just need to do one divided by sorry it's equal to one divided by this so this will be the indirect rate so the indirect rate is actually your explaining which is a euro to USD 
yeah so this is called euro to usd so this will be euro to usd and this will be usd to euro so this is where um, you see in your normal forex trading if you are doing a trading you know what is this how much you are getting and 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 uh, yeah you will get uh, 0.8 euro uh, you need to spend like um, 0.8 euro to get a uh, one usd here you need to spend 1.2 to get uh, one euro yeah so this is where um the system uh, you know is a normal terminology they usually use in the forex and now i'm going to maintain the exchange rate is a direct quotation so where 0.82 so here um yeah i don't have a big rate so i just put maintain zero And again, I'm going to maintain another rate, which is 0, 1, 0, 2, 20, 21. Same USD. 0.830. Here. So in this case, um, I'm not going to explain here or the, about the closing rates because I'm going to cover this topic in the exchange rate type. So we need to create a new exchange rate type yeah now click ok enter so it is an um, usually um, in the case of production system you don't get this transport request and here um, you are getting the transport request because uh, ours is a, a, a like a um, training system Usually the production system, you need to call to the basis team if it is asking for the maintaining the transport request. Usually they will exclude the certain set of tables when you have a production maintenance for these kind of tables. Yeah. So now um, when it is go to um, posting, so I just go be 70. So let's say now if I post 1000 USD, so I should get 820 Euro. So I use the date, let's say I use the customer 01012021 Press enter. Sometimes it takes a longer time than expected because of the system. Press enter again. I'm just creating a normal invoice here. So now my currency is USD and here zero and 1000. And I'm going to maintain the X in the GL. So my reference is six. And when I double click on the second line because it's a revenue, I just need to derive some profitability segments. Otherwise, system don't allow to post. So I put a profit center, my profit center and segment, and also profitability segment. This is a usually a standard delivered company codes usually derive this even though blank values. Just click continue.
so if once it's filled in it will show some details here you can see it's green means it's okay so click OK and uh, go back then click on uh, simulate then the system will uh, simulate the document and show the yeah so here if you want to add a few more fields like amount in uh, local currency so click OK you see so this is where it's converting uh, as we did the conversion uh, system is doing as a20 yeah so here our conversion is happening and uh, now you can see click okay so here there is some more details uh, the local currency you can see here also so this is the translation date and this is a exchange date this is where um, you can see under here so all this information at the document header level so you can see I'm not going to explain the hard currency here and 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 uh, the, the system is uh, automatically deriving uh, the hard currency to, to uh, the USD here using some reference currencies this is this company core setting please don't ask this question and and uh, yeah usually um, in the, it, it should be 1000 USD when you convert it should be 1000 uh, here yeah because this is I'm using a, I'm not created any new company code I'm just using the same company code which is uh, delivered by the ideas and uh, I need to adjust some settings and to reflect correctly which I have not done so it is showing wrongly here so I am not explaining all these currencies here I'm just uh, my focus area is uh, here is uh, here and the uh, amount in the document currency amount in the local currency and how we are going to do the foreign currency valuation for the local currency so and uh, if you want more details uh, and if you want to know how this is uh, calculated you can post some comments then I will uh, uh, post some videos uh, on these uh, corrections how you can do these kind of corrections uh, here yeah thank you so now I simulate uh, and, and, and post a, a document So yeah, this is how uh, you can post uh, documents in the foreign currency and you can check uh, and maintain the exchange rates correctly in the system uh, for uh, uh, reporting. So now this is a transactional um, posting and uh, in the next session uh, I'm going to show you on a business scenarios uh, and, and how the open items in the foreign currency evaluation so let's say now we look into a, a big currency so usd to euro is a big current big currency so let's say when i take uh, from the jpy you know so let's take uh, jpy japanese yen so i just put uh, jpy to euro so you can see here JPY to Euro is so big how to derive and how to calculate this kind of currencies so and uh, in this kind of currencies so let's say you want to maintain exchange rate is the opening rate for JPY to Euro so now I, I would like to put a ratio here and here is also a ratio yeah so yeah. 
so this is 1 is to 1 I just say and in this case also 1 is to 1 and this also 1 is to 1 so how to do in the case of uh, GPY to euro so usually we will maintain the, 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 the small currencies like this is 100 GPY is equal to 1 euro yeah so in the case of invert inversion also it is uh, maintained uh, likewise so now how to maintain the exchange rate the document is posted already yeah so you can see the document is posted and um, how in, in the system So how to maintain uh, these exchange rate types will be covered using a new exchange rate type for the closing also. So I am going to explain in my next videos how you can define these kind of uh, um, currency translation ratios um, to, to for the better conversion in the system to, to avoid a decimal places because in every exchange rate type you can only maintain until uh, before four five digits and after the five digits of the decimal place so in this case uh, you need to do use a translation ratios and this is where um, different table called tcurf where um, the translation ratios will be maintained within the scp system so we are going to explain more about these exchange rate types within the um, uh, sap uh, exchange rate type um, um, session where uh, it's uh, it is under unit number three yeah so hope uh, you like this video so please uh, help to share these videos and put some comments uh, for a for a better um, to 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 make it better for me and also i can put uh, more interesting videos uh, if you have some comments thank you